So you're looking to move to Plymouth, Michigan. Well, in this video, I want to give you all of the information that you need to know about the city of Plymouth, as well as living there, entertainment, the cost of living, and all of those things so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a top producing real estate agent here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. And whether you're looking to move in nine or 90 days, my team would love to help you. We've helped hundreds of individuals and families move to and around Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you're interested, our contact information is below. Feel free to call text or email and make sure to like hit that subscribe button and bell button that way you're notified of all of the new and upcoming information throughout metro detroit myself and people all around metro detroit michigan have ranked plymouth as one of the best places to live in michigan living in plymouth offers a residential and dense suburban feel and most residents actually own their home versus renting in the city of plymouth there are plenty of restaurants coffee shops bars and we'll get into all of that information soon According to Niche.com, Plymouth has been given an A plus overall ranking. A for public schools, A minus for housing, A plus for good for families, A minus for jobs, B minus for cost of living, A minus for outdoor activities, B for crime and safety, A minus for nightlife, B minus for diversity, and A minus for health and fitness. So let's talk about location. As I mentioned, Plymouth is located in Wayne County and covers about 2.2 square miles and is populated by about 9,300 people. When looking at a map, the city of Plymouth is about 30 minutes west of Detroit and about 28 minutes from the DTW airport. So let's talk about the school district because this is a question or a topic that I get asked most often about when people are looking to move to or around Metro Detroit. And the Plymouth Canton Community School District is actually ranked as the third best school district throughout Wayne County. According to niche.com, the Plymouth Canton Community School District has been given an overall grade of an A. A for academics, a minus for teachers, A for clubs and activities, A plus for sports, B for resources and facilities, B plus for diversity, A for college prep, B for administration, A minus for food. The Plymouth Canton School District was ranked 37th out of 557 as the best school districts in Michigan and was actually ranked number 14 out of 571 for the best school districts for athletes in Michigan. All right, so let's jump into my favorite topic, which is the housing market in Plymouth, Michigan. As of today, there are 32 active listings and we are in the middle of April, 2023. Of those 32 listings, the lowest active listed property for sale is listed at just about $225,000. The highest active property listed for sale is at $989,000, just under 1 million. And the average price point for a home in Plymouth is about $406,000. And just for reference, the house that sold for the highest value over the last 365 days was sold for $1.65 million. And as always, it's important to talk about the school district and the cost of living and the location. But one of the biggest things that I always recommend to my clients is to look at the appreciation rate when looking to buy a home. Over the last 12 months, Plymouth has seen an overall appreciation rate of just under 6% at 5.9, compared to the rest of our MLS being at a 2.2 or a 2.3, that's really good numbers. So one thing to keep in mind when you're purchasing or looking to move into Plymouth is that that is a location and an area that is going to continue going up in value and appreciating. So maybe you're able to purchase a property with, with equity and at a good value, but also know that that house is going to be going up in value with time at a very steady pace and above average for the rest of the MLS throughout Michigan. Much like the rest of Metro Detroit, Michigan, Plymouth offers a variety of home styles, including older buildings as well as new construction. Anything from ranches to colonials to tri-levels. You'll also see properties with basements, crawl spaces, slabs. And overall, the Plymouth area is a very sought after and highly recommended location as far as purchasing a home. All right, so next I wanna cover the cost of living in Plymouth. Overall, the US has been graded on a scale of 100. And if we take the national average being 100, Plymouth has been ranked at a 118. So as I mentioned, Plymouth was ranked 18% higher than the national average, with groceries being just 1.5% higher, health and fitness being 20% lower, housing 32% higher than the national average, utilities just under, transportation slightly over, and miscellaneous cost of living just over as well. So as I mentioned, the average cost of a home in Plymouth over the last 365 days was just about $406,000, with that max price being 
And when discussing the cost of living, I also like to go over the median household income, which for the city of Plymouth is just about $96,000. All right, so now that we know the cost of living, as well as the location and a little bit of information about the housing market, let's jump into what you can do for fun, whether it's entertainment, activities, food, drinks, you name it, we're gonna dive into it. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about entertainment in Plymouth, Michigan is downtown Plymouth. Downtown Plymouth is known for some of the events that they hold throughout the year, including the Ice Festival Bingo, Plymouth Fall Festival, and the Plymouth Ice Festival. They also have events such as art in the park, music in the air concert series, community band concerts, live music, and Wednesday night workouts. Downtown Plymouth not only offers a nice scenic downtown location, but it also has a park directly in the center surrounded by shops and restaurants. Some of my favorite restaurants downtown are Bakehouse 46, Ironwood Grill, Park Place Gastro Pub, Sean O'Callaghan's, and my favorite coffee shop is the Plymouth Coffee Bean Company. Some of the other attractions and areas that I recommend that you check out would be the Kellogg Park, the Plymouth Historical Museum, Penn Theater, and the park spelled P-A-R-C for Plymouth Art and Recreation Complex. So as you can see, Plymouth is a great place to move to. Not only do they have the downtown area that offers shopping and restaurants and bars, but the housing market is affordable, as well as having a wide variety of styles and different locations that you can be and home styles that you can move into. It also has very affordable living, as well as one of the best school districts throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan. If you're looking to move to Plymouth and want more information, feel free to use my contact information in the description below. And if you're interested in some of the other cities throughout Metro Detroit, make sure to check out the rest of my channel where I break down all of the best cities throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan. And until next time, we'll see you soon.